This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Sachin, I am working as a Salesforce consultant and today I am going to describe you about delete functionality in Salesforce using Lightning Web Component. So I will implement delete functionality and I will not go, uh, use Apex class additionally to implement this functionality. Moreover, we, this uh, Whenever we can implement component using Lightning Web Component, these components are use, reusable in nature. In order, we are able to use it in our app builders, and these components we can use in our Visual Visual Force page also. And that Visual Force page will get integrated with our web applications also. Maybe web applications can be written in .NET, Java, or any other language. So in this way, we are able to use web components. So now I'm heading towards my org. Yeah, this one. Suppose I'm going to delete this one. Edward Billy. Yeah. So in this way, it will capture the ID of that row. Whenever I'm going to click that row, so it is capturing the ID of that row. As soon as I'm going to delete this, this will get deleted. Yeah. So how I created this functionality? That's I'm going to show you. So I implemented this functionality using Lightning Web Component, and for that I perform coding in Visual Studio Code. So I cre created here one Lightning Web Component with name delete. So how I created as I Click on view command palette. Yeah, view command palette. Yeah, SFDA create lightning web component. As soon as you will create this lightning web component, you will, uh, this one folder will get created here. And by default, it contains three files. One is .html, one .js, and third one is this meta xml file and also known as configuration file so we will start with html file so here we are not going to use any apex class moreover this uh, this functionality will work on any standard or custom object we are it is not specific to any any specific to any standard object like account contacts on it it will only capture the record id and then it will delete the that it will delete that selected record so for that i am here i am in html file i created only one button its name its delete level and on click it will um, this method will get invoked and this record id will get passed and record will get deleted and in this curly braces it will show the it will display the uh, id of that row in this way here only uh, in html page i uh, return i write only this code then i have to move to our delete.js file this javascript file yeah in this way so yeah here this import this import keyword is used to import all variable functions into lightning web component and export this export keyword is used to export all functions variable and classes from lightning web component in this way so this is the this is the function that that will get invoked on click event of button this is our button yeah this one delete account delete account yeah this one function is getting invoked yeah yeah and as soon as this function will get invoked it will capture the record id and data will get deleted yeah this show toast message this one is used to show message whatever record is getting inserted or any error message and or and this rec in delete record lightning ui record api it will capture the api of the object this one yeah this and then i am moving towards configuration file this meta.xml is a configuration file here we need to expose we need to set this true if it is false it, it will not get exposed in record page app builder 
and I'm going to target this in only record page app builder here. This target lightning underscore underscore record page. Yeah, in this way. Then I'm going to right click on this and SFDX delete uh deploy source to org as soon as i am going to click on this event this component will get exposed to our app builders and just we have to drag and drop uh, this component in our record uh, record record app builder yeah so now i'm going to uh, yeah i am going to debug this code i am i will show how it works suppose i am going to click on this is tv smith yeah in this way it will capture the record id how it is capturing the record id that i am going to show you and how it is deleting the row that also there we will see in this debug and debugging portion just right click and click on inspect go to source then You will find all the JS file in this lightning component modules in this folder. Yeah, delete. This one is our JS file. Click on the pretty print in this way. This, uh, they are delete. This one is our function delete account. Yeah, this one. As, yeah. Yeah, so look, it is capturing the ID. Now I am going, it is capturing the ID here. And now I'm going to delete this record. As soon as I'm click on this delete button, this delete account method will get invoked. Yeah, in this way. Yeah, it will. Yeah, that record ID get captured in this way one more method i will show to capture the this record id you just copy this portion okay go to console json dot stringify and this copy in this way you will capture that id also so this is small small techniques will help us to debug the code in this way now as soon as we will go ahead that uh, record will get deleted yeah that is tv smith will also get deleted so in this way we are able to perform the delete functionality using lightning web component so once this component is implemented we are able to use that component inside account standard object or opportunity or any other standard or come the custom object also so this was the code and, and this code is uh, i think so it is very easy and you are able to understand if you have more query about any if you need any support on salesforce technology you can drop us email on support at bisptrainings.com and you can also call on this number 9752753 3753 yeah so i hope you like this video be in touch thank you for your timing bye bye